Hello, and thank you for choosing Harold G. Chavis Industries, The Sensor Connection. In this video, we will discuss what RTDs are, how they work, and the difference between two and three wire configurations. RTDs, or resistance temperature detectors, are a very common type of temperature sensor known for their accuracy, stability, and repeatability characteristics. Where are RTD temperature sensors used? RTD sensors are used in many industrial, scientific, and OEM applications, found in nearly all markets such as water treatment plants, food processing equipment, medical research and development, and pharmaceutical manufacturing to name a few. How do RTD temperature sensors work? Within an RTD temperature sensor is an RTD element. The element operates by measuring the change in resistance of a thin wire wound on an insulated form or coiled up in a self-supporting structure. Most often the wire is made of pure or slightly doped platinum a material that exhibits a very stable and linear change in resistance over a wide range of temperatures. The vast majority of RTD temperature sensors in commercial use are known as PT100 sensors, which indicate that they use a platinum element with 100 ohms resistance at 0 degrees Celsius. Other less common types of RTD temperature sensors may use a platinum 1000, copper 50, or nickel 100 element to name a few. What is the difference between two and three wire configurations? While the element itself only requires two connections, the actual RTD hookup may utilize two or three lead wires. The drawback of the simple two-wire connection is that in addition to measuring the resistance of the element, the R1 and R2 lead wires also have a resistance which can introduce offset errors into the measurement. As a result, a two-wire RTD connection is mostly used in applications where the lead wires are very short or if the measurement accuracy and precision are not critical. The three-wire RTD connection is far more common. The resistance of the element including the R1 and R2 lead wires are measured. Then the resistance is also measured through the R2 and R3 lead wires. This allows the measuring instrument to account for the resistance of the lead wires, thereby allowing a more accurate temperature measurement to be calculated. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this instructional video and would like to hear from us again, click subscribe and push the bell to turn on notifications. For additional technical resources, please visit our website, hgsind.com. Harold G. Shavitz Industries, performance and reliability is our business. Thanks for being on our team.